everybody! Welcome to Virtual Story Time. Are you ready to sing our welcome song? I hope you are, because I am! Good job! Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here today. All right, now, actually, we're just gonna start because we've got three awesome stories. We gotta get going. All right, so today's theme is love. It's Valentine's. It's Valentine's Day coming up, or did it happen? What is today? Not sure it was yesterday Valentine's Day was yesterday but that's okay we are gonna still do a Valentine's Day story time and we've got three stories and I want you to take a minute what does Valentine's mean it means thinking about what you we love what we love it can mean giving cards to people it can mean getting chocolates from people but it can also be Getting and thinking about things that we like to do. Because it's about love. It's about loving what we do, loving our lives, loving our friends. So our first story and our last story are about Valentine's. And our second story is about doing something that we love. So our first story is called Valentine's Surprise by Corinne Demas. Oops, I just whacked the desk. I apologize. All right. And we're going to learn about our friend Lily. It was almost Valentine's Day. Lily wanted to make a Valentine for Mommy. So she found some paper. I'll cut out a big heart, said Lily. It will be a secret until Valentine's Day. On Monday, Lily worked at her little table by the window. She made a valentine, and the heart was too pointy, so she hid it under her bed. On Tuesday, Lily made a second valentine. But this time, the heart was too round. On Wednesday, Lily made a third valentine. But the heart was too square. On Thursday, Lily made a fourth valentine. But the heart was too curvy. On Friday, Lily made a fifth valentine. But the heart was too skinny. On Saturday, Lily made a sixth valentine. But the heart, it was too fat. <laughs> Sunday was Valentine's Day. Lily made a seventh valentine, but the heart was lopsided. Ugh. 
and she had used up all her paper. Lily felt so sad. What was she going to do? <gasps> she had an idea. Lily put all of the hearts on the table and she got to work. A little while later, Mommy came into the room. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart, she said, and she gave Lily a great big hug. I tried to make you a valentine, said Lily, but it didn't turn out right. Mommy looked at the cutout hearts. Oh, Lily, I love you, she said. You made me a valentine for every day of the week. But none of the hearts are perfect, said Lily. Well, that doesn't matter, said Mommy. The heart inside you is. Look at that. So she put all of her hearts together and it made something super awesome, which was the love that she had for her mom. The end. Oh, what a good story. Okay. Our second story is about doing stuff that we love to do. What do you at home like to do? Do you like to read stories? Maybe play outside? Play with your play with your play with your animals? Well, this is called I Got the Rhythm. Or it's just it's I Got Rhythm. I apologize. I got rhythm. What is rhythm? And what do you see in this picture? What do you what's a hint of what this story might be about? Maybe music. Correct, Amundo. And this story is by Connie Schofield Morrison. I hope you like this story. The pictures are really good. And it's all about rhythm. What's rhythm? It's a beat, like in a song, that you do over and over. All right, here's our main character. I thought of a rhythm in my mind. Think. I hurt the rhythm with my ears. I looked at the rhythm with my eyes. Blink, blink. I smelled the rhythm with my nose. <laughs> sniff, sniff. I sang the rhythm with my mouth. Ooh la la. <laughs> I caught the rhythm with my hands. Clap, clap. I kept the rhythm with my fingers. Snap, snap. I'm not a very good snapper, but they're snapping with their fingers. I shook the rhythm with my hips. And I felt the rhythm with my knees. I walked the rhythm with my feet. Stomp, stomp. I tapped the rhythm with my toes. And I danced to the rhythm of the drum. Tap, tap. I clapped and snapped. I tipped and tapped. I popped and locked. I hipped and hopped. Beat bop. Bing, bang, boom, boom, boom. Let's have a parade. Boom, box, beat, box, kaboom, kaboom. I got the rhythm, and you can too. The end. Ah, oh, what a good story. So it was all about dancing, actually. She likes to dance. I like music. What do you like? Do you like dancing and music? On Valentine's, we can think about the stuff that we love to do and appreciate. Okay, we're going to take a quick break.
and we're gonna do a song. Do a song. I'm gonna teach you some moves. I hope you like it. It's pretty fun. It is called Skinnamarink. So if you know it, I love if you could sing along. If you know the moves, I'd love for you to dance along, just like we just did in that story. If you don't know it, I'm going to do it once through, and then you can do it with me the second time, okay? All right. We're going to get our arms out like this. We're going to roll our wrists like this, and we're going to do it on the other side, too. Got to do a little warm-up here. Here we go. skin a rinky dinky dink skin a rinky doo I love you. One more time. skin a rinky dinky dink skin a rinky doo I love you. And then we're going to do big arms. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin and rinky dinky dink, skin and rinky doo. I love you. <gasps> That's it. Good job. You want to do it again? Do it again with me. Here we go. Skin and rinky dinky dink, skin and rinky doo. I love you. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky doo. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky doo. I love you. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Happy Valentine's. I love you. <laughs> How, who else did you tell that you loved? Did you write, I love you, on any Valentine's cards? Like to your mom, to your dad, your brother, your sister, perhaps? I bet you did. All right, we got one more story. It's called The Ballad of Valentine by Allison Jackson. Now, who knows what a ballad is? Kind of a different word if you've never heard it. A ballad usually means it's a love song. So we just sang a song. We just read a story about music. So I think this is going to tie it all together very nicely. Here we go. In a cabin in a canyon near a mountain laced with pine, lived a girl who was my sweetheart, and her name was Valentine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Valentine. I have written 40 letters, but you've never read a line. I gave the letters to the mailman to deliver rain or shine but he couldn't find your address. So I penned this Valentine. Then I trained a homing pigeon and attached my note with twine. But he flew to Madagascar where he dropped your Valentine. So, I built a raging bonfire, sent a black and smoky rhyme. But a cyclone stole the message and it vanished one more time. Next, I tapped a note in Morse code asking you to please be mine. But the signal hit a blizzard as it crossed the county line. Can you see what that says? It says, for Valentine. Then I rented out a mail car on the Westward Railroad line. But the train derailed in Denver, leaving letters strewn behind. What else could go wrong? I paid a rider on a pony. Where is he? He's right there. But his filly wouldn't mind. Booked him clear to Arizona where he's now been reassigned. So 
I bought an airplane and I wrote a message with a big heart underlined, but the wind erased three letters. And now you're my Alanine. Tied my message to a boulder with a sentimental rhyme, but it rolled down into quicksand and now your valentine is slime. Oh. Well, I'm not much of a writer, but I tried to drop a line. If you ever get this message, oh. will you be my valentine? The end. It worked out after all. He tried so many things and she was coming to see him with a pie. Anyway, oh, what a good story. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you loved those stories. You can check them out at the library anytime you would like. And that's all the time we have. So everybody put your hands in the air. This is how I like to say goodbye to my friends. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all goodbye. Happy Valentine's. Bye.